Hello everyone. Today in this short video, I'm going to share with you my outline for a 30 minute preschool aged STEAM story time. This story time's theme would be colors, which relates to the A or art in STEAM. So in this story time, we're going to talk about recognizing colors, we're going to talk about blending colors to make new colors, and then the children are going to have a take-home kit they can um, take home to practice coloring and pre-writing early literacy skills. So to start out in my um, story time, what I would do is I would sing a welcome song. So probably something like, hello friends with sign language, something like that. That would just take a minute or so. Then I would introduce the theme of colors to the children and the parents or grownups. And we talk about maybe some colors they recognize in the room. And then we'd, I'd also just share very briefly with the adults how colors relates to STEAM. The next thing I would do is sing another song with some action so that the children are um, able to get some of those wiggles out before we start our book. So we'd sing If You're Ready for a Story song, and that kind of says, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. And then we'd say, if you're ready for a story, jump up high, and we'd get some of those wiggles out. And then finally, if you're ready for a story, sit right down. So we'd get ourselves ready for our first book. The first book would be Freight Train by Donald Cruz. So I would read that and kind of interact with the children and the book on that. It's a very short book with very minimal words. So we'd really focus on the colors of the train cars in that book. Then we would sing another song. It's called Make a Rainbow Song. And I would, if I could, I would use a flannel board or some sort of manipulatives that I would help be able to um, build a rainbow as we sing the song. That would kind of help engage the kids um, and also be practicing those visual learning skills of recognizing our colors. Um, after that, we would read another book called Warthog's Paint. And I will practice reading that to you in just a second, but um, I'll go on after that book is done. We would read, we would sing and watch the video um, pulled up on a screen in the story time room um, called I See Something Blue. And this is a really fun video. I've linked it down in my outline um, because it's a fun song with some animation, but it also gives opportunities in the video, in the song to allow the, the children to pick out items in the video that are the color they are singing about. So it's good practice altogether, whole group practice. After the I See Something Blue video and song, I would read The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew DeWalt. This is a really funny book. Um, it's able, you're able to use funny voices. Uh, we can practice our colors with the different crayon colors. Um, it is a little bit of the longer book out of the whole story time. So we'd want to make sure that the children are ready for this, that um, they're engaged, and that I would make an effort to, to try to draw the kids in on that one. And then we would do the five little crayons finger play. Um, and that's just using our five fingers and we're talking about the colors as we go. I've outlined that uh, finger play down in the notes as well. And then that would pretty much be our time. We would sing a goodbye song, which is a we do a version of the hello song, but sing goodbye. And we would use um, sign language for that. And it's time to say goodbye. So we do those kind of things. And then I would make sure that everybody knows to pick up an exploring kit. Um, uh, which has an activity in it that includes, and I've included all the supplies below as well, but it gives the children a chance to practice blending colors using tissue paper squares and a, a pipe cleaner, dip, and they would dip it in water at home and then practice getting those tissue squares wet on a piece of paper, pulling the tissue squares off and seeing what colors have blended underneath. So that's just kind of a fun thing they would need to do at home with guidance um, to be able to continue the learning about their colors. So um, really quickly, I just wanna uh, read a few pages. This is that Warthog's Paint book. It's, a, um, it's an older book. It's by B Pamela Duncan Edwards, but it's a rhyming book, which 
dovetails well with our rhyming um, focus for early literacy. Um, and so I just wanted to read a couple pages of this and kind of demonstrate how I would engage with this with the children right in the middle of the story time is where we're working with this book. And this book is great because it talks about the primary colors. And then it also talks about what happens when we blend those colors, which is something we want to focus on in this steam story time. So I would start by saying this is Warthog's Paint, a messy color book by Pamela Duncan Edwards. Does anybody know what a warthog is? So we might talk about that and I'll show them the warthog on the cover. And then we turn to the title page, Warthog's Paint. Has anyone else ever gotten messy when they paint? Yeah, it's pretty messy. Painting is messy sometimes. So here's the first page. It says the warthogs can't go out. It's such a rainy day but everyone's tired of warthog play. There must be something to do, they cry, as they watch the rain falling from the sky. I've got an idea. Why don't we start to paint our wall with warthog art? All colors can be made, I've heard it said, as long as we have some yellow, blue, and red. Good idea, they cheer, and everyone rushes to find the paint and fetch the brushes. Splish, bend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint red on our kitchen wall. Do you think it's okay to paint on your walls? No, that this is in the book. It's OK, because we're learning our colors. Run up the ladder up to the top. Be careful there. Don't let the pot drop. The ladder is wobbling. Danger. Look out. See the big yellow puddle and the little yellow snout. Uh Oh, they got paint on them. Splish, bend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint yellow on our kitchen wall. Here I come, please let me through. It's my turn now to paint with blue. Crash, whoops, wee, this is funny. I'm mopping up the floor with a bright blue tummy. Splish, bend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint blue on our kitchen wall. And then it just goes on. Eventually they're gonna mix the paint. Paints are gonna fall together and, and they mix and then they end up making orange with the red and yellow. They make purple with the blue and the red. Um, and then they end up just getting the rainbow. So it's a fun way to practice the colors. There's even a few questions at the end of the book if, if we wanted to use that to continue um, practicing our learning. So that's a demonstration of how I would read one of those books, um, a STEAM focused book um, for this color story time. So as I said, I provided the outline in the notes below. Um, thanks for watching.